This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 7th of November. I'm James Spann. Colder and drier air blows in here today as the rain overnight is already gone. Let's go in there and take a look at the big picture this morning. This is the water vapor satellite imagery across the nation. Big trough pushing the rain to the east and helping to bring in the colder air. That was a screen capture shortly after 5 o'clock this morning. At that point, rain was falling from near Anniston down to Clanton and Selma. But as you watch this, that rain is probably in Georgia by now. And the sky becomes mostly sunny today. And you can clearly see the progression of the colder air. You got Memphis at 41, Haleyville at 44, but you cross the front, you've still got 60 south and east of here. 65 for Alexander City and Montgomery, but the cold air wins the battle. Uh, most locations having a hard time getting out of the 50s today with a chilly north wind. And around the nation, cold, dry continental air covers much of the United States. A lot of 20s and 30s up on that map. And bottom line is going to set the stage for a great weekend. There's the watch warning map. We've got frost and freeze issues for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. And many Alabama locations have already had a frost and a freeze. But uh, we'll be down in the 30s tomorrow morning. But boy, it looks like the coldest air of the season so far blows in here in about one week, as you'll see as we go through modeling. That might get us uh, well down in the 20s. Rain for the next five days. Don't expect anything. The, the green you see there over Alabama, that's for the lingering light rain early this morning. And uh, once that's out, we'll be dry through Tuesday of next week. And boy, this has to be the uh, big story globally in the Western Pacific. Uh, Haiwan, this horrible uh, super typhoon. I mean, that thing just looks nasty. Uh, the uh, maximum sustained winds are in the 175 mile per hour bracket with gusts over 200. I mean, this thing is just uh, horrifying for our friends in the Philippines. And, and again, there's a look at the projected track. It should weaken very slowly coming across the islands, but still a very powerful storm with great potential for loss of human life and property. So. Uh, this could be a very big story. Uh, this will be well to the south of Manila, cutting across the central part of that uh, island nation in the Pacific. All right, model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars, broad troughing over the east and around here, windy and cool. The sky should become mostly sunny today, but we all know one of the greatest challenges in weather forecasting is timing the clearing. You know, sometimes clouds can linger longer than you think, but uh, we'll expect a high only in the, in the, we'll sit in the 50s all day today. The, the GFS is showing a high of 59, and that has a warm bias, and that wind is going to make it feel colder. <clears throat> Tomorrow, we start the day down in the 30s, mid-30s. Some of the colder pockets could see a freeze. Uh, the high should be around 60, blue sky and sunshine. What a great night for the high school football playoff games tomorrow night. The sky will be clear and cold with temperatures falling quickly in the 40s for those games. Saturday as we kick off the weekend, same deal. Great day for our college football. Auburn up in Knoxville to take on the Tennessee Volunteers. They'll be in bright, <clears throat> bright sunshine there with a the high around 60. Alabama playing LSU in Tuscaloosa. Saturday night, the sky there will be uh, clear with temperatures falling in the 40s by the second half. Bottom line is a great day. Uh, there's Sunday, <clears throat> pretty much the same deal. Uh, bright, sunny weather, warming up a little bit. The high Sunday should be in the mid to upper 60s. Let's go through next week. This is Monday. We're dry. Here's Tuesday. Ooh, look at that. 1044 high on the uh, uh, South Dakota-Minnesota border. That is a very cold air mass. <clears throat> the uh, coldest so far this season. And by Wednesday of next week, uh, you can see a deep upper trough over the east and down below that very cold air. Look at the tight pressure gradient <clears throat> as a, a deep surface low develops off in the Atlantic, just off uh, Cape Hatteras. And if this is right, windy of next week will be uh, Wednesday of next week will be a windy and uh, cold day. The 540 line down to uh, Coleman. And if this is right, we'll be in the 40s all day. And then on Thursday, the cold air settles in here. And Thursday morning, uh, that ought to easily get us down in the 20s. I mean, look at these anomalies here. Thursday morning of next week. That's uh, about 20 degrees below average. And uh, we wonder if indeed this is right, if some of the colder pockets could reach the upper teens. I mean, that is a very, very cold air mass for mid-November. <clears throat> we'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 22nd of November, upper high over Texas. Westerlies north of there, and if that's right, that would be dry and mild. 
That's it for the weather extreme video today. Excuse the voice. Cold is getting better. Every day gets a little stronger. <clears throat> Look for the next update here by 4 o'clock today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.